Hey, gym fam. Welcome to At Home Fitness with Coach A. I am Coach A, and it is my goal through this YouTube channel to bring you guys at home in gym quality workouts for your garage gym and at home needs. Now, today is Saturday, uh, August 29th. It is day number 167, which means as Saturday, it's Super Sick Saturday. Uh, thinking with the alliteration, we are going to perform a workout, specifically a CrossFit Hero workout today called Steve Skimpton Sr. Lots of S's. Let's do this. Four time, 400 meter run. Not too bad. Everything with reps, pretty easy. We're looking at 25 reps. So 400 meter run, 25 overhead kettlebell swings, 5335 RX weights, 25 burpees, 25 air squats, 25 push press with the kettlebell you guys are using for the overhead swings, okay? 25 odd number, you're gonna do it again. So if you wanna go all one side and then go all second side the second time around, that's fine. If you guys wanna break it up, try and even out. If you wanna go 26 to go 13 and 13 on this first time, and then 24, 12 and 12 on the second one, that's fine. As long as we're creating balance. So real quick, I'm gonna run through this again. Four time, 400 meter run, 25 overhead kettlebell swings, 25 burpees, 25 air squats, 25 single arm kettlebell push press, one mile run, 1600 meters, 25 kettlebell swings, 25 burpees, 25 air squats. There's that second round of 25 single arm push press. Finish with a 400 meter run. Not too bad, seems like it could be pretty terrible, but you're only looking at 2400 meters, which is a mile and a half, which is something you guys have done if you've been following the at-home workouts. Super sucky Saturday. Enjoy yourself. Hey guys, welcome to the garage gym. We're going over the workout for Super Sucky Saturday. Remember, we have three runs in this workout. We have a 400 meter run at the beginning, a 400 meter run at the end, and then a 1600 meter run in the middle. Now. What is sandwiched in between those three runs is four different movements, 25 reps each, repeating the second time through. So before and after that 1600 meter run. The first one is going to be 25 kettlebell swings. We're going American. So taking it up overhead if we can. All right, focusing on using the hips and legs to do the swing, not the back and the shoulders. Meaning before that, separation actually happens between the kettlebell and the hips or kettlebell and the thighs, the legs should reach full extension, the hips should be coming through to full extension, then the kettlebell leaves. Okay? Second movement is going to be 25 burpees. Remember we are all the way down, chest hips on the ground at the same time, using the shoulders, triceps, core to pull the feet to the hands, upright, off clap overhead. Third one. Air squats, full depth, these hips, same level, coming back through. You want to be able to try and maintain a pretty smooth rhythm. Inhale down, exhale up. This is kind of the recovery in terms of the breathing after the burpees. Fourth, final movement of that series is going to be your kettlebell push press. One side, since we only have one for the swings, dip, drive, hips extend into the shoulders overhead. Remember, the butt comes straight to the heels. Right out of the dip, we push through the heels, push through the feet, squeeze the glutes, create the momentum, create the energy, and use that punch overhead. So, 25 reps, odd number, single-sided movement, two arms. Two things you guys can do with this. We can go 25, right arm first round, 25 left arm second round, or vice versa, or we can try and split it up evenly. In which case, I would probably say do 13 and 13, giving you 26 on the first round, and then when you come back on that second round, do 12 and 12, giving you 24. Yes, it's different, but it's still going to give you those 50 total reps. All right, so 400 meter run, 25 kettlebell swings, 25 burpees, 25 air squats, 25 push press, 1600 meter run, 25 burpees, 25, I'm sorry, 25 kettlebell swings, 25 burpees, 25 air squats, 25 push press, and then finishing with the 400 meter run. Stay tuned for movement modifications. All right, guys, we're talking modification today. Super Sunday.
Saturday. Uh, if we're looking at the cardio piece, meaning the running, here's what we would see for four and 1600 meters if we're gonna adapt that to something else. Rowing, we're talking 500, 400 guys, girls for the four, and then we're talking 2,000 and 1,600 for that one in the middle, that long one. If we're looking at an airdyne, working with calories, guys, 400, 40 cal, ladies, 28. For the 1,600 meter in the middle, guys, we're looking at 160 calories, ladies, 112. And if we're gonna be rocking out on a C2 bike, we're looking for an 800 meter instead of that four, and then a 3,200 meter instead of the 1,600 meter run. Now, air squats and air squat burpees of burpee. If we're looking for different equipment, we have our kettlebells. But we have dumbbells. We're gonna go with that double dumbbell, hip swing, throwing them forward. Yes, the kettlebell swing is overhead. I don't necessarily want you to throw these up overhead because we have two variables that we have to stop instead of just one. Having said that, if you guys want to mix this up, it can be a dumbbell snatch, it can be a double dumbbell clean and jerk, or something along those lines. Keep in mind, you're going to be doing the push press, so you're going to be doing that overhead movement with the dumbbells, in which case you might want to just go with a snatch, or honestly, just taking it down to the ground for a power, for a muscle clean. If we're looking at a barbell for this, I'm going to have you guys do it a little different. Let's take the barbell and let's deadlift. Okay, if you only have very light weight for your barbell, a 25 deadlift is pretty much nothing piece of cake. Well, let's go with a power or hang power clean for that first time around instead of the swings. Second one, obviously, we're just going to stick with the push press, which is what you would do with the uh, kettlebell anyway. In which case, any of this bilateral stuff, you don't have to worry about the push press being single arm or having to break up or adapt those reps at all.